you are God's creature designed for glory you are not designed for shame returning back in Jesus name I rebuke the devil God is a God of mercy when you understand that God is a God of mercy you are a creature of intention God created you intentionally get set for a moment of empowerment with your host Benjamin Beckley I will extol thee O Lord for thou hast lifted me up and has not allowed my enemies to triumph over me. Psalm 30 and verse 1. Glory be to God. The enemies will not triumph over you in the precious name of Jesus. You are designed for triumph. You are positioned on the earth to overcome. You are too defended to be frustrated. You are too connected to be stagnated. You shall surely be victorious on all sides in the precious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome to Moment of Empowerment with Benjamin Beckley. And I remain your privileged host, Benjamin Beckley of the Empowerment Center in Arlington, Texas. Moment of Empowerment is a revolutionary and prophetic broadcast that is designed to empower you towards taking your rightful place in destiny. You are not a creature of mistake. You are a creator of intention to manifest supernaturally on the earth. You are not designed to fail. You are heavenly packaged to succeed. However, you need to be empowered for you to be able to show forth in the divine agenda that God has for your life. I know you will not fail, you will not fall, and you will surely show forth in your destiny in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for tuning in to this broadcast today. I really appreciate you. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for the calls. Thank you for the emails. We appreciate it. It, it. it goes a long way to let us know that we are reaching you and we are being a blessing to you. And we'll continue to be a blessing as the Lord gives us grace in the precious name of Jesus. For everyone that has called in and emailed to be a part of our TV partners, thank you so much. We, we appreciate you. The Lord bless you and honor you in the precious name of Jesus. And in case you are just tuning in, you are just watching us for the first time, Moment of Empowerment is designed to steer you up into getting to where God wants you to get to in the journey of life. Now, I'd like you to call somebody. I want you to invite somebody, sell someone. The station you are watching me right now, let us come together and connect with revelation from God's word that will empower us towards being who God wants us to be and live the way God wants us to live in life. Now, if there, are, if there are people you know need encouragement, somebody you know needs a touch from God, if you know somebody that is passing through hard time and they need to come out from it, please do get them right now. Tell them the station you are watching me. Turn them a text message because it is time to be empowered via God's word. Listen to me. God's word is a life-giving force. God's word is potent enough to release life whenever it gains access into any destiny. It brings forth life to every lifeless situation. In John chapter 6 and verse 63, Jesus speaking, John chapter 6 verse 63, he said, it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profited not. And I said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So God's word have inside of it the capacity to provoke life, to activate life, to bring forth life in any situation. Therefore, as God's word come into your life today, whatever is lifeless, everything that is dead, I don't care if it is your marriage, your health, your mental capacity, your business. When something is dead, it means it's not producing. It's not living the way it's supposed to live. Today, in Jesus' name, God's word will bring forth life. In the name of Jesus, there shall be an impartation of life into every lifeless situation. I command dead situation to come alive. I command dead businesses to come alive. I command dead marriages to come alive. In the precious name of Jesus, that pastor watching me, I command that dead ministry to come alive. In the precious name of Jesus, God's word bring forth life. In any lifeless situation. 
And as we connect with God's word today, I want you to be expectant. Expect that there will be a touch from heaven. Expect that there will be answers to your prayer. Expect that your desires will be delivered because life will come into you via the machinery of God's word. Now, right before I go into today's teaching, I'd like to invite you to the Empowerment Center. Now, the Empowerment Center is a, a, a wonderful family of God. It's a non-denominational, multicultural, world-based church of God. We are absolutely committed to empowering lives towards becoming who God wants you to be, enjoying what God wants you to enjoy, and also having a positive impact in your generation. That's our assignment. And we love to have you the way you are. We want to welcome you. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter where you are coming from. We are open to express the love of God to you. We're a loving family of God. And I know I can tell you something. When you come around, you enjoy the presence of God. You experience the power of God. And you will connect with the word of God that is able to give you an inheritance among all of them that are sanctified. The address is right on the screen. Write the number down. You can call in the number for direction if you want. You can also call in for prayers. We are here to pray with you. We are here to encourage you. We are here to enlighten you. And we are also here to empower you as God gives us the grace. And I know that as you come around, come this Sunday in any of our services, our Sunday services, 10 a.m., to 12 noon, and our midweek service on Thursdays, 7 p.m. to uh, 9 p.m. And also, you can listen to life-transforming messages on our 24 hours online radio that is dedicated to broadcasting prayers, revelational teaching, and praises all around the clock. You can listen to prayers on our radio. We have a 24 hours internet powered radio station that is broadcasting revelation all around the clock. Now the website is www.prayingradio.org. Prayingradio.org. You can listen to uh, radio, listen to messages, listen to prayers any day, anytime on the radio. It will be a blessing to you in the precious name of Jesus. Now, in case you are just tuning in, this is Moment of Empowerment with Benjamin Beckley. And this broadcast is essentially designed to empower you towards taking your rightful place in destiny. Now, glory be to God. Today, I shall be continuing a teaching series that we started some couple of weeks ago entitled The Secret of Overcomers. The Secret of Overcomers. Please understand with me, this is going to be the part three. Until you connect with relevant secrets, you can't enjoy the corresponding substance. In life, there are things to know. Until you connect with what you need to know and commit to doing what you need to do, you may not enjoy what has already been packaged for you. All things that pertain to life and godliness has been given to us, but we, they are accessible through knowledge. They are accessible through knowledge. So knowing what you need to know empowers you to be able to do what you need to do, and when you do what you need to do, you enjoy what you need to enjoy. So the primary focus of this teaching, the secret of overcomers, is to unveil to you through scriptures Secrets or relevant knowledge or concealed truths that those that overcome in life are, are, are engaged that has empowered them to overcome. And when you connect with it, you shall surely overcome in the precious name of Jesus. Now, for the past couple of weeks, we have been connecting with revelation from God's word on the secret of overcomers. We have discovered so far that overcomers are men and women that refuse to allow their present situation to be the end of their lives. Overcomers don't allow their present situation, what they are passing through, to be the end of their life. Rather, they pass through what they are passing through and they break through in it. Overcomers are when and women that refuse to remain a victim, but rather they pay a price to stand out as victors. Overcomers are people that shifted from being defeated into being lifted. We also discover that there are certain secrets that overcomers have engaged that has positioned them to overcome in life. We saw that overcomers don't accept defeat. Looking at it from the story of Jabesh, we saw that even though it was 
called sorrow, he refused to accept that as the end of his life. We saw that overcomers are solution-minded. Oversomers are solution-minded. Whatever you think, you attract. When you think more on the problem, you attract more problem. But when you think more on progress and solution, that is what your mind will draw you towards. So we saw that those that overcome in life, or if you will overcome, you must be solution-minded. You must believe there is, an, a, there is a way of escape. You must believe that this is not the end, there is something better. And finally, we saw that overcomers take action. Overcomers don't just talk the talk, they walk the walk, and they walk the walk. Overcomers don't just talk the talk, they don't wish the wish, they, they are not just about wishing, they wish they can overcome. No, 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 it's not enough to wish. When you have a wish and you are not willing to take action, the wish will just end there. So whatever you want to do, anywhere you want to overcome, you want to overcome addiction, you want to overcome alcohol, you want to stop, you want to stop smoking, you want to stop getting yourself involved in drugs, you want to stop fornication, you want to overcome challenges in life, you want to overcome joblessness, you want to overcome spiritual weakness, whatever you want to overcome in life, you can overcome, but you must be willing to take action. You must be willing to stop what you want to stop, do what you need to do, and stand on your feet to ensure that you take, you, you overcome. You must be willing to take the action necessary that will position you to connect with the solution that is available for you. Now, in case you have missed any of this episode, you can watch a rebroadcast on our website, uh, www.wordrevival.org. You can watch a weekly broadcast any day, any time. The information is on the screen. Just go on the website and click on Empowerment TV. You will be able to watch all the rebroadcasts of the past edition. Now, today we are going to continue as we explore some other secrets of overcomers. And by the leading of the Spirit, I, I shall be praying over life situations today that you must overcome. I had a sense, an unction to pray today because I actually want to share with you the secret number four that I saw concerning overcomers, that overcomers are men and women of prayer. <laughs> overcomers are men and women of prayer. Now, riding on the wings of revelation, still from the scripture that we have been looking into, I'd like you to understand that not to pray is to cheaply end up as a prey. If you don't want to end up as a prey, you don't want to be a victim in life, you must stand on the altar of prayer to enforce your victory. All through the pages of the scripture, it is evident that prayer is a pivotal provision for overcoming in life. Overcomers are men and women that engage the force of prayer to prevail. If you cannot pray, you cannot prevail. It takes the machinery of prayer to prevail in the journey of life. In Exodus chapter 2, verse 23 to 24, Exodus chapter 2, Verse 23 to 24, we want to look at the situation of, 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 of the people of God and how they engage prayer to overcome. The Bible says, and it came to pass in the process of time that the king of Egypt died and the children of Israel sighed by the reason of the bondage and they cried and their cry came up unto God by the reason of the bondage. Verse 24. And God heard their groaning, and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. Now, look at what happened. They have been in captivity for 430 years. They were supposed to spend 400 years, but they were there for 430 years. But at the end of the 430 years, they came to realization that there is something we can do. There is an action we can take, that when we take this action, we stir up divine intervention. Prayer is necessary for you to overcome because prayer is a machinery for steering up divine intervention. The Bible says, and they cried because of their bondage. They had been in bondage. They had been oppressed. They had passed through different kinds of calamity. They had been overcome by the enemy. But when they engaged prayer, the tide turned. There was a shift in situation. I'm praying for somebody that in the name of Jesus, whatever your bondage, whatever you have been in captivity, wherever 
whatever the enemy has exerted upon you, you are coming out in the name of Jesus. I break the shackle of bondage over your life in the precious name of Jesus. The Bible says, and they cried unto God, and God had their groanings. God had their cry. May God hear you today. May God hear your cry. May God answer you in the precious name of Jesus. Now, let's look at what prayer did. When they prayed unto God, prayer stirred up divine intervention. In Exodus chapter 3. Now, in Exodus chapter 2, they prayed. Now, Exodus chapter 3, verse 7 to 9. And I'm going to be praying for you from that scripture. Exodus chapter 3, verse 7 to 9. And the Bible says, And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. And I have heard their cry by the reason of their tax master. For I know their sorrows. Mm, verse 8. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of the land unto a good land, a land that is flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanite, unto the Etatite, unto the Amorite, the Perisite, and the Evitite, and the Jebusite. Now, verse 9. Now, therefore... Behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. So when God heard their cry, because they cried, he came into the action. Came into action. The Bible says, I have heard their cry, and I have come down. Can I tell you something? When God comes down, certain things must happen. Number one thing, something must come down. The adversary must come down. When God comes down on the behalf of his people, something must happen. The people must go up. The people must go up. In verse 8, says, and to bring them up out of the land into a good land. Somebody is watching me right now. I engage the force of prayer on your behalf that there will be divine intervention. That which you have been passing through, may God intervene in the precious name of Jesus. I break the hold of oppression over your life. I command the affliction to be over in the precious name of Jesus. When God came down, the adversary loosed them. In the precious name of Jesus, the Lord will come down for your sake. He will intervene in that situation you have been having. Somebody is watching me right now. You have been having unnecessary financial financial hardship. I hear from heaven. God is coming down on your behalf. Something is wasting your resources. I arrest the force of the wasters. I rebuke the devourer on your behalf in the precious name of Jesus. Now God is still into me, telling me to tell you, you have not been faithful with him. You have not been faithful with your commitment to him. And that has opened up for the adversary to be overcoming you. But now in Jesus' name, every door that is opening your life for the oppression of the enemy, I close them up in Jesus' name. I command the doors to be shut down in the precious name of Jesus. Overcomers are those that engage prayer to come over what has come against them. Overcomers, one of the secret whistles is the secret of prayer. Overcomers are men and women of prayer. Now, what do we mean by prayer? Ability to connect with God and to contact God in order to collect from him. That's prayer. Prayer is communicating with God. Prayer is having access into the mind of God in order to download his intention to reality on the earth. So, overcomers have discovered as part of their secret that they got to engage prayer. They got to know how to bring God into the situation. When they give room to God, God makes room for them in life. I know in the name of Jesus, whatever you have been passing through, you will overcome. You will overcome that financial trouble. You will overcome that matrimonial problem. You will overcome that situation in the precious name of Jesus. Somebody is passing through legal battles right now. I hear from heaven, Ela Kuskepetunea, Nunuz you will overcome in the precious name of Jesus. You are coming through. You are breaking through. You are coming out in the mighty name of Jesus. That man that you have been watching me and you have been having sleepless night. You can't sleep. Today, I command that thing troubling your sleep to be over in the name of Jesus. You are overcoming that sickness in your body. You are overcoming that shame you have been passing through. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are overcoming that rejection in the precious name of Jesus. Glory be to God. So you must understand that overcomers engages prayer as part of their secret to overcome. Now right before I continue in 
exposing the secret of overcomers as prayer. I want to appreciate all of you that have been supporting this broadcast in one way or the other. I want to thank God for your life. I want to thank God for everyone that has partnered with us and everyone that is also uh, that has shown interest to partner with this broadcast as we continue to unveil scriptural secrets that will empower you to take your rightful place in destiny. You are not designed to be defeated. You are designed to overcome. But you must be empowered via scriptural revelation and prophetic prayers for you to step into your place of of, of triumph in life. I want to thank God for your life. Thank you for partnering with us. We, we thank you because you, in, in partnering with us, you have advanced the kingdom of God and you are also empowering us to spread the good news of the gospel all around the clock as God has given us privilege. Now, I also want to encourage you, if you are watching me, I want to encourage you to join our TV broadcast partners today. You can be part of our partners today as you join us in spreading the gospel of the kingdom. The information is right there on the screen. You can partner with us with, any, with a monthly commitment of any amount that you can afford. You can afford $20, $50, $100, or whatever you can afford to partner uh, with us as we advance the gospel of the kingdom as we be a blessing to life or any of your love gift. And I will send to you a prophetic CD package that is entitled Discerning and Defeating Satanic Strategy as you uh, uh, partner with us. I will send that CD packet to you. It's loaded, revelationally loaded, to, to break the shackles of satanic operations and to open your eyes to what you need for you to defeat whatever the enemy is bringing your way. You can call the number, you can go to the website, you can send an email. I want to hear from you. Partner with us today and you shall surely be blessed as you do in the precious name of Jesus. Now, we are still connecting with the secret of overcomers. We have discovered that those that will overcome as part of their secret, they know how to connect with God. Prayer is a platform where we connect with God. Now, from the story of Jabesh that has served as our anchor scripture for this series, we saw that the Bible says in verse 10 that even though Jabesh was honorable, verse 10 said, and Jabesh called on the God of Israel. Now, I want to pray the same prayer that Jabesh prayed with you, and I know God is going to honor the prayer. Because the Bible says, and when Jabesh prayed, God granted him his request. God granted him his request. I want to pray through the remaining part of the broadcast. And I know as I pray over you, something will happen. A testimony will break forth. Liberty will come your way. Deliverance will happen to you. Solutions will come. Somebody is going to receive a revelation of what to do. The next move to make. The direction to go. And God is going to reveal to you. There are certain things that Jabesh made mention of. And I saw in reality that if we can connect with these things in life, we will overcome in all areas of life. Number one, the Bible says, and Jabesh prayed. What was the content of his prayer? He said, oh, that thou will bless me indeed. Mm. Can I tell you something? The blessings of the Lord is the cure for the causes of life. The blessings of the Lord is the terminator of sorrow in life. Jabesh knew that if I'm going to come out from this sorrow, I need to connect with blessing. And the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22, it is the blessing of the Lord that make it rich and add no sorrow. So God's blessing is a sorrow terminator. God's blessing separates, it, it breaks loose sorrow from the journey of man. That was why Jabesh said, bless me indeed. He said, I know I look blessed, but no, I know what the blessing is. I may appear blessed. People may not see. They may just be looking at the physical appearance. But within me, I know something is missing. What is missing is your blessing. Because in the beginning, God blessed man for man to function. If you will function in life, you need the blessings of the Lord. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I declare the Lord bless you. As Labesh has prayed, may God bless you indeed. May your life show forth blessing in all ramification. In the day you are blessed, as you go out, you are blessed. In the evening, you are blessed. The blessing of the Lord that will terminate the sorrows of your life, it will rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, I declare the heaven of blessing open upon your life. I declare the shower of blessing to fall upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. By the blessing of the Lord, you are coming out from that trouble. By the blessing of the Lord, you are changing level. By the blessing of the Lord, things will work for you in the precious name of Jesus. Number two, Jabesh prayed. He said that you will enlarge my coast. Enlarge my coast. What does he mean? He knew that he is more than this. 
Dabesh knew he was, he was he, he has potential more than what he is experiencing, or what he was experiencing. So he was asking for expansion. He was asking for enlargement of course. He said God should make room for him. So he knew he was not where he's supposed to be. He knew he was not enjoying what he's supposed to be enjoying. And he cried that God enlarge my course. I pray for somebody in the name of Jesus. May the Lord enlarge your course. God will multiply. He will give you expansion. Enlarge to the right. Enlarge to the left. In the name of Jesus. That ministry will enlarge. The Lord will enlarge your course in the land. He will make room for you financially. He will make room for you spiritually. In the precious name of Jesus. You will get to where you're supposed to be. You will move into where God wants you to be in the name of Jesus and Jabesh prayed that your hand will be with me that is talking about divine strength he's talking about the ability of God and the empowerment when God's hand is upon you you gain speed in life when God's hand is upon you the hand of the enemy cannot block you I pray for you the hand of God will come upon you it will come upon your life when God's hand come upon you he heals you when God's hand come upon you, he lifts you. When God's hand comes upon you and God's hand is with you, he leads you the way to go. From today, God's hand will be upon you. It will be upon your children. By the hand of God coming upon you, you are healed, you are made whole in the name of Jesus. And finally, Jabesh pray that God will keep me from evil. That's talking about divine security. When God keeps you from evil, you will never be a victim of evil. From today, may God keep you from evil. Evil will not haunt you. Evil will not overcome you. In the precious name of Jesus, I shatter everything that appears evil in your life. Now I pray for you. Everyone sick, be healed in Jesus' name. Whatever you are passing through, overcome now. Receive grace to triumph. Receive grace to be victorious. You will no longer be defeated. Step out from the problem. Rise up from the wheelchair. I command marital problem to be over. Everyone that is stagnant, move forward. I command you to make progress. Everyone that is in debt by supernatural intervention, your debt is settled in the precious name of Jesus. Now, calling right now, the prayer unction is free. I want to pray with you. No matter the situation, have you been passing through our time? Call the number on the screen. I want to pray with you. Whatever the situation you want to overcome, there is grace in prayer. Overcomers engage prayer, and they came out from it when the church prayed for Peter in Act of Apostle chapter the 12 he came out from the prison come out from the prison right now release you are releasing jesus name thank you blessed father glory be to god i know god has visited you in that prayer but calling right now i want to pray with you whatever the problem calling right now the prayer unction is flowing you must surely have a testimony when the church pray god intervene prayer brings god down and intervenes in situation god bless you i want to see you at the empowerment center i'm inviting you Come and be a part of any of our service on Sundays, 10, PM, 10 a.m. to 12 noon, and Thursday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Till I come your way again next week, stay empowered and keep empowering others. God bless you. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Watch us every week at the same time for your moment of empowerment. Visit us online at wordrevival.org or call us at 972-972. 639-1762 or stop by and see us at 838 Secretary Drive, Arlington, Texas.